Hello, my name is Dr. Joe Childs. I'm a board certified functional neurologist and today I want to talk to you about how functional neurology can be very helpful for children with Asperger's syndrome or high functioning autism. So if you have a child that has Asperger's syndrome and you're concerned about their social skills, their eye contact, you're concerned about how they're able to make friends and function well in school, then this video is going to be very eye-opening for you. So let's talk a little bit about what we do. Now, when we look at somebody with Asperger's, we look at a child with Asperger's. Asperger's is known as the right brain autism. And Asperger's is a, a form of high functioning autism where language is not necessarily affected. But what they're finding is that these children have poor social skills, poor eye contact. Uh, they have a tendency to be preoccupied with things over and over again, like video games and things of that nature. And what science is finding is that what is happening in these cases is they have a brain imbalance. They have what's known as a functional disconnection syndrome. So what is a functional disconnection syndrome? It's a result. Uh, it, it's when one side of the brain, so when you, when you look at the brain, you have a left hemisphere and you have a right hemisphere. And there's a certain set of skills on one side or a certain sort of functions that functions, a uh, certain sort of a set of functions on the left side versus the right side. And so a child with uh, with Asperger's or high functioning autism almost always has a really deficient right brain and the right side of the brain controls a lot of things we're going to go over that in a minute but when one side of the brain is deficient versus the other side or out of sync with the other side we call that a functional disconnection syndrome and what it does is it results in a child with a brain imbalance that has normal or even unusually good skills associated with the high functioning side and they usually have bad skills associated with the underactive side of the brain. So what we see with, with Asperger's syndrome and high functioning autistic kids is they've got some really good left brain skills but their right brain skills are very very delayed or deficient. So let's talk a little bit about this. So when we look at functional disconnection syndrome or when one side is deficient versus the other, these are your right brain deficiencies. ADD, ADHD, Asperger's syndrome, autism, Tourette's syndrome, OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder, PDD-NOS, which is pervasive developmental disorder, not otherwise specified, but it means basically the child has some autistic or high functioning autistic type uh, of characteristics, but they can't really put it completely in the autistic diagnosis. And then your left brain deficiencies are things like learning deficiencies or disabilities and dyslexia. So let's look at the um, we'll look at the left versus the right side of the brain here, but let me, let me tell you what, what, what made me think about doing this video. Is I was actually looking at a, uh, a post on, on Facebook. Uh, we have, there's a lot of neuro neurology groups on Facebook, and I was on there, and somebody put this on. It was an amazing story of, a, of, a, of an autistic kid, a, a high-functioning autistic man, actually. And what they would do is they would fly him over a city, and they would fly him over the city, and what would happen is he would be able to look at all of the different buildings and look at all the details in the building. And it was just, it's just a short flight over the city in a helicopter. And then he would come back and he would be able to, by memory and just that one visual contact of, of looking at the city from above, he would be able to draw out the entire city in perfect detail. And everybody on there was, was, was so amazed at the, at the incredible detail that this autistic or high functioning autistic uh, man can do. And it's amazing because they have, he has an incredible strength in detail, but he has a very hard time, most autistic kids do, or children do, or, or adults do, uh, in social skills and seeing the big picture. So this exactly shows what we talked about, the functional disconnection syndrome between left and right brain. So when we look at the left hemisphere versus the right hemisphere, your left hemisphere is the small picture in details. So I remember one of my professors in functional neurology used to tell me that autistic kids and, and, and Asperger's kids see the world different. They see the world in a thousand little pieces. They see all the detail and not the big picture. So the right side of the brain is the big picture or seeing the forest, if you will, where the left side of the brain is seeing the small picture. The left side of the brain is the what, it's the details, where the right side of the brain is the where, it's the spatial awareness. So a lot of children with Asperger's are a little more clumsy. Their posture may not be as good. They, they may bump into things more easily. Left hemisphere is all about memorization of details and facts, where the right side of the brain is going to be this, this large uh, picture type of, of functioning. It's also for social skills. 
there's something called mirror neurons. Mirror neurons are all located on the right side of the brain and what they do is they allow a person to mirror somebody else's personality and to and to feel so if I if I see something on somebody's face um, if I see that they're hurt or if they're excited or if they're sad I will know what that feels like because of my mirror neurons on the right side of my brain and I will be able to have a social understanding or I'll be able to have empathy towards that person's feelings and that's a very big picture type of skill what's in the right side of the brain most Asperger's kids uh, they, they don't have that side of the brain working so good so they're all caught up in the literalness the the linear the verbal memorization of, of facts they love everything the same where the right side of the brain likes everything new it's, it's stimulated by new activity um, the right side of the brain is the brake pedal and, and you can see why an ADHD, if the right side of the brain, an ADHD child, if the, ADHD, if the ADHD child is hyperactive, you can see why, because the right side of the brain is not really breaking their thought and action. Um, so these are some of the things that we see between left and right, and we can spend hours and hours and hours going over this, but essentially, with children with Asperger's syndrome, their right brain is so much deficient next to the left brain that you're seeing all these strengths on the left side, which is amazing, kind of like that guy that can fly over top of, uh, you know, of a city and know every ounce of detail. But when your brain is functioning like that, it's very hard for you to function in society. It's very hard for you to have empathy. It's very hard for you to have social skills and things of that nature. So the biggest thing for you to know is that the right brain can be stimulated with functional neurology to reduce the disconnect. We can improve the right side of the brain. Just like we can strengthen a muscle on one side, we can strengthen the brain on one side. And that can improve the brain balance and thus many of the symptoms and expressions of Asperger's syndrome can be improved. This is called neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity means the brain can be changed. And so if you have a child with Asperger's syndrome, and you want to learn more about this, we have a website called Chester County Neurobalance. All you have to do is click on this Facebook post and you'll go right to our main website where we talk about uh, the functional disconnection syndrome in more detail and exactly what we do to help children with Asperger's syndrome have a little bit more brain balance and so they can do a little bit better with some of the concerns that you probably have for them. So I hope all this made sense. I know it's a, probably a new concept for you. Uh, there, the science is out there uh, on, and this is a research paper right now, the effect of hemispheric specific remediation strategies on the academic performance and outcome of children with ADD and ADHD and other neurodevelopmental issues. Science is catching up with this, uh, but the, the important thing for you to understand is that if you click on this post, you'll go to our website and you can learn more. Thank you very much for listening.